Good evening, adventurers, from another lucky day in Las Vegas. <laughs> or hopefully, I don't know. We haven't lost any money yet. We haven't played any games yet, though. I guess we haven't really. We've watched other people play games, and they didn't lose money while we were there. <laughs> we have one more night here, and so our trip would not be complete without doing something very yummy and very delicious. A few years ago, we came here, and we tried the cheapest and then the most expensive buffet in all of Vegas, and it was awesome and not One of my so favorite awesome. days in Vegas ever. <laughs> yeah, but this time we are going to try the best, the highest rated buffet in all of Vegas. And I'm sure that's like a hot topic, you know, it's very contested, but we'll tell you our formula later yeah. for how we decided what's we, the best. We did some maths, we did some figuring, and I'm very confident that we have found the best. We're also going to be joined by Trevor and Anna over Hello. here. They called us up and said we need some heavy hitters mm -hmm. to come help with the eating. <laughs> and we're yes. hungry. And we want to get our money's worth, yeah. all right? Uh -huh. So I hope you're ready to eat. Hope you're ready to drink because we got the drink package. Oh, yeah. Lead the way, Vegas, here we come. Let's go, this way. Do you actually know the way to go? No. <laughs> <laughs> it is that way, though, I correct? Think it's this way. I think yeah. it's this way. <laughs> We have made it into the wind, but we're lost, y'all. We have no <laughs> idea where we're going. This is like the fourth time we've been lost in Vegas. Yeah, we get lost every time we come here. We've just been walking through the, the shops here. We keep seeing signs for dining, but we have not happened upon any dining yet. So but We're also very late, so hopefully they still yeah. have our spot. Yeah, it's all, it's all gonna be fine. This is why you make reservations in advance. You don't have to wait in that line. You just yeah, this is a priority seating line. Yeah. And it didn't cost us anything extra. Why would you not do it? It's the moment of truth, y'all. We're being taken to our table, whisked away, if you will. I'm so excited. Yeah. All I see are tables full of food, but I haven't actually seen the food yet. They have it hidden from us. And we've also ate one very low calorie meal early in the day, so I'm hungrier than I can remember. All I've being had in a long is time. one little salad and coffee, so I'm, I'm ready. We are finally here. We are at the buffet at the Wynn and we are ready to stuff our friggin' faces, you guys. Our server was so nice. He actually gave us the lay of the land, told us where everything was. So now our task is to fill up as many plates as we possibly can in two hours. I think we can meet the challenge. Let's do it. This buffet has literally everything. Salads and soups. They have fruits and veggies a meat carving station, they have a taco station, they have a pasta station, they have sushi, they have dumplings, they even have a pile of freaking crab legs, both hot and cold. Okay y'all, when you come here, one thing I did not anticipate is the floor is really slippery because people get the crab legs, they literally douse them in butter and then the butter spilled ever, I mean, the crab legs are way at the first station and this guy literally stood like this with his legs apart, put the butter on the plate and then spilled it the whole freaking way. The staff over there is freaking out. <laughs> it's really slippery and I just got brand new shoes and now they're yeah. covered in butter. Wah, whatever. I guess the price you pay for deliciousness. Y'all, I am a sucker for a big juicy sausage <laughs> and I don't think I have ever seen a more beautiful pile. This particular <laughs> station is intense. I mean, look at all that meat, look at all those vegetables, look wow. at all this over here. This one is oh my gosh. I wish I had five stomachs right now. This is literally just like every station. I'm like, I'll have that, I'll have that, I'll have that. I don't know how you decide. Like, you want to be like, oh, should I start with a salad? And they're like, no, I can't <laughs> fill up on a salad. Should I get soup? No, I don't want to fill up on a soup. We so want the meat. Just like, meat, 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 and try carbs. That's going to be the theme of this. All right, 
This buffet is beautiful. There is so much stuff ranging from healthy to very unhealthy, but I think that the star is the meat. And as you can see, that's a lot of what I have on my plate here. I've got some prime rib, the sausage. But this is what I'm really excited to try. This is the pork belly mac and cheese. There's some chunks of pork belly. There's a bunch of creamy cheese covering the pasta on, on here. And they actually make pastas to order. Oh my gosh. First bite of the buffet night. I mean, I could just eat that and I would Should be happy. Should we just I mean, fill the table with that? We can, it's a buffet, anything goes. It's like super smoky and salty and amazing. And you'd think at a buffet stuff would be sitting out for a long time and get kind of weird. Oh no, it's delicious, it's perfect. That's perfect. the beauty of the biggest buffet. Everything is very high quality when you go to the right buffet. We're gonna keep this meat train a rolling, y'all. I got some delicious brisket. This is actually the thing I was most excited to try. You guys know, if you follow the channel, obviously you know that we eat a lot of barbecue all over the place. So we have kind of a high bar for brisket, but this looks pretty good <laughs> for a Vegas buffet. Vegas brisket, who knows? I mean, it passes the look test, but doesn't pass the taste test, I don't know. It's very tender. We got the burn ends there. Got a bunch of sauce on the bite. Vegas down the hatch. Surprisingly good brisket, suspiciously good. Well, the sauce is freaking delicious. It's like just subtly sweet, but not too sweet. And then of course, you get a bite with the big burnt end, so you can taste all the smoke and all the saltiness, you get that burst of flavor. There's just the right amount of fat in it. Pretty good brisket. All right, Vegas, not too bad. So obviously, we have come to the buffet at the Wynn. It's literally called the buffet. <laughs> but when you come to Vegas, you'll notice that there is a buffet at basically every casino or hotel on this trip. So then, how do you decide? Well, we just took the top three highest rated in general, and then we took the ratings from a bunch of different websites, and then we added them up, and tried to scientifically determine which one was best and we're not great at math but this one came out on top well she did the math so i don't know what your process was but i think you averaged them out the three contenders were the buffet wicked spoon and bacchanal i think that's how you pronounce it bacchanal that we actually ate there last time we were here that is the most expensive buffet very delicious, very different vibe than this. It's a. Uh... I prefer this one, honestly. Yeah, this one is a lot more chill, and uh, I like the food options a bit better here. Oh my gosh, just when I thought it couldn't get any more magnificent, they have a whole crepe station. And while the finished product is not as pretty as their displays, I went with a mixed berry crepe and there are a bunch of berries in there, whipped cream, and then it's topped with Nutella drizzle and powdered sugar. We'll oh have to God. tag team this one for sure. Yeah, I think maybe the whole table is gonna help me with this, but it smells and looks so beautiful. Look at these little adorable creme brulees. Look how small they are. Cheers. It's the cutest dessert I've ever seen in my life. This is how I want to eat creme brulees. And you guys like are adorable nice... eating them. Yeah. <laughs> we don't eat dessert a lot, so this is like the perfect size. It's like a little mini. Yeah. So we're just gonna go right in here. Look at that, look at that bite. You can see I the top layer. I always the top of it. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Cheers. First of all, the texture of the burnt little top here, and it's so, rich and creamy. vanilla so I feel like I can see the bits of like fresh vanilla in there. Yeah. It's so it's good. Like vanilla, egg, sugar. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like some car caramel. It's so good. It's yeah. worth it. This place is worth it for the desserts alone, alone yeah. I would say. You could just come here and eat dessert. I'm also really cute and dainty over here <laughs> with my little Maybe bitty that's the cutest little thing, cutest little tart, <laughs> and this is what she's doing in the background. And this is, this is exactly what it's meant to be done. Oh, That's how you do it. What's been y'all's impression of the buffet so far? I'm really impressed because sometimes it's like you get to a huge buffet, but like the choices aren't that great. But here it was like, how do you possibly pick? And the mm. fact that it's not crazy busy. Mm -hmm. It yeah. is a Wednesday night. I can recommend yeah. Wednesday so night. That's the time to come. Weekends are probably crazy, but you never know. We kind of decided we needed one more savory <laughs> bite <laughs> after all that sweet stuff. We made it most of the way through a crepe and some other little bits, but I like ending the night on a savory yeah, bite. So we're each going to have just, you know, a bite or two of this. <laughs> this was our favorite dish of the night, so. The pork belly mac and cheese. Oh my God. I'd pay the $65 just for that. Just for this yeah, bowl? Just for that one. Well, sadly, y'all, we are leaving Las Vegas. It was a short-lived trip, but 
We really want to get out of the cities from here and, uh, you know, explore the mountains, the rural stuff, the desert. It was a fun stop. Yeah. I highly recommend if you guys are going through Vegas, try to stop at that RV park. It was a lot of fun. It was. It was a cool vibe there. Everyone was really nice and stuff, and there was tons of room there. Y'all, that was the perfect way to end our time in Vegas, eating our body weight in delicious, delicious food. Yeah, my only regret is that I didn't get to eat everything I wanted to. I know. There were so many things. We should have just scarfed down a bunch at the beginning and waited two hours, and then at the last 10 minutes, gotten a second round. No, I should have eaten so much until I threw up. That's oh, what I should have done. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I stopped myself well, like, a, uh, like a Vegas buffet noob. <laughs> yeah, I guess. You, we, we should have worn stretchier clothes and yeah, just really probably. had more of a mission. But I think we did okay. We ate quite a bit, y'all. But we haven't really told you guys what's coming up next. We are actually meeting back up with Trevor and Anna, the Delightful Travelers, mm -hmm. and uh, we're gonna meet them here at this gas station. They are renting their first ever RV camper van thingy. I'm not even sure exactly what it is, but we're gonna see it as soon as they arrive and meet us at this gas station. I'm so excited for them, although I'm sure that they're not very excited right now having to navigate a city <laughs> in a van that they've never driven before, but it's gonna be fun times. I think I found them. I think this, this little red beauty over here is them. This is way cooler than I thought it was gonna be. Your new oh. home on wheels. Check it out, we tried to park right in front of you, but a guy took the spot. <laughs> yeah, jerk. Well, how do you oh, like it you. so far? Man, it's so fun. It's awesome. Yeah, oh look at this God. thing. Ooh. Awesome. Yeah, there's some like cabinets rattling around in the back. I hit my head already. And almost, <laughs> almost knocked myself out, honestly. But... Hey, welcome to van life. Welcome if you don't yeah. knock yourself out immediately, then <laughs> you're doing it wrong. A few concussions. So this is your guys' first time driving, taking out a van, huh? Yeah. First yeah. time. A little bit nervous. It's at, uh, the biggest vehicle we've I've ever driven, yeah. <laughs> so that's something. Yeah, we're excited, but we're really glad you guys are with us. Like, yeah. They gave us the rundown of all the hookups and all this stuff, and I was like, oh, how uh -huh. are we going to remember this? Okay. Well, we'll help as much as we can. Yeah. Yeah. So our plan is we're actually going to be traveling around with these two in this van for about a couple weeks. Yep. Yeah. About 10 days. So, yeah. yeah. Gonna we're going to give you guys a proper look at this van at some other point, so yeah. stay tuned. <laughs> We have hit the road. We got our little caravan going with the delightfuls behind us in their little uh, red van. It is pretty cool. This is We just realized this is our first time doing any sort of caravanning with other people in Clementine. Yeah, it's so we cool. had big intentions a year ago, yeah. but they're finally coming to fruition. Holy cow, the landscape is just getting incredible. We're actually heading kind of northeast into Utah. You guys will just have to stay tuned to see what we get up to there. It's gonna be pretty incredible. We're gonna see parts of the country that we've never seen before, so we're very excited. <laughs> All right, goodbye adventures. We'll see you on the road.